Hello everyone, welcome back to this illustrious journey of computer organization and architecture. So as promised earlier, in this session we will solve numerical problems on associative mapping. Now for the sake of lucid understanding, in today's session we are going to use similar example problems like we used in direct memory mapping. And it's my recommendation to all of you to do a comparative study on the different outcomes of the same data provided only after this session. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Consider this example number 1, here main memory size is given as 4 gigabytes, cache size is 1 megabytes, block size is 4 kilobytes and word size is 1 byte. So first we need to find out the physical address bit split in terms of associative mapping and thereafter we need to figure out the tag directory size as well. Now we already know when the word size is mentioned as 1 byte, it clearly signifies that it's a byte addressable memory. So let's try to solve it now. The main memory size is given as 4 gigabytes and since it's a byte addressable memory, we need to convert this entire unit in terms of bytes. So 4 is nothing but 2 square and gigabytes we already know it's 2 to the power 30 in terms of byte which gives us 2 to the power 2 plus 30 that is 2 to the power 32 in terms of byte. So the size of the main memory in terms of byte is 2 to the power 32. Therefore, the number of physical address bits is going to be log 2 to the power 32 base 2 that is 32 bits. So 32 bits will be used for physical address. Now the block size is given as 4 kilobytes and 4 is 2 to the power 2 that is 2 square and kilobyte is nothing but 2 to the power 10 in terms of byte. Hence, the block size in terms of byte is 2 to the power 12. Therefore, the block offset will be log 2 to the power 12 base 2 that is 12 bits. Now, in order to find out the number of blocks inside the main memory, we need to divide the main memory size that is 2 to the power 32 in terms of byte by the block size that is 2 to the power 12 which results in 2 to the power 20 because 32 minus 12 is 20. Therefore, log 2 to the power 20 base 2, that means 20 bits will be used for block number. Now, since we are dealing with associative mapping, we already know the block number bits are also the tag bits. So, the PS split is going to be 32 bits for the physical address and from those 32 bits, the least significant 12 bits are going to be used as block offset and the remaining 20 bits are there for the tag bits. So this is the answer to our first question. Now coming to the tag directory size, we already know a tag directory has as many entries as there are lines inside the cache. So let's find out how many lines are there inside the cache specified in the problem statement first. Now the cache size is given as 1 megabytes, which is 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 20 that is 2 to the power 20 in terms of byte. Therefore, the cache size in terms of byte is 2 to the power 20. Now we already know the block or the line size is 2 to the power 12 in terms of bytes. Therefore, the number of lines inside the cache can be found out by dividing the cache size which is 2 to the power 20 in terms of byte by the block or the line size which is 2 to the power 12 which results in 2 to the power 8 because 20 minus 12 is 8. Therefore, the tag directory will have 2 to the power 8 entries and with each entry, 20 bits of tag information will be associated. Therefore, the tag directory size is nothing but 5120 bits and that is the answer to our second question. Now consider this example number 2, here main memory size is given as 16 gigabytes, block size is 16 kilobytes and word size is 1 byte. And we are again being asked about first the physical address bit split and the tag directory size. Now by saying word size equals to 1 byte, we already know it's a byte addressable memory. So let's try to solve it. Now the main memory size is given as 16 gigabytes and 16 is nothing but 2 to the power 4 and gigabytes is 2 to the power 30 in terms of byte. Therefore, the main memory size in terms of bytes is 2 to the power 34. Now we can easily figure out the number of physical address bits which is nothing but 34. So 34 bits in this case will be used as physical address. 
Now the block size is given as 16 kilobytes and 16 is 2 to the power 4 and kilobyte is 2 to the power 10. Therefore, the block size in terms of byte is 2 to the power 14. Hence, the block offset will be 14 bits. Now the number of main memory blocks can be found out by dividing the main memory size by the block size. That is 2 to the power 20 because 34 minus 14 is nothing but 20. And since we are dealing with fully associative memory mapping, therefore the number of tag bits is 20 bits. Basically, the entire block number bits are being used as tags. So this is the physical address bit split, where from the 34 bits physical address, 14 least significant bits are being used for the block offset, and the remaining 20 bits are used for the tags. And this is the answer to our first question. Now coming to the second part of the question, we need to find out the tag directory size. But in the previous example, we found it out because we came to know about how many lines are there in the cache from the cache size. Now in this problem statement, the cache size is missing. And there is no way for us to find out the number of lines inside the cache. Therefore, in these circumstances, the tag directory size can't really be found out. So do remember this, the tag directory size can't really be found out if we don't know how many lines are there inside the cache. Also, if we don't know how many bits are being used in order to store the tag information. Alright people, that was all for this session. I believe you understood that solving numerical problems on associative mapping are comparatively easier than direct mapping. The only thing to remember is, apart from the least significant offset bits, the remaining bits are used as the tags in case of fully associative mapping. So now you all be the judge and do a comparative study keeping the numerical problems of session 9, direct memory mapping solved examples alongside. Also, don't forget to share your findings in the comment section. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.